Tonight, we are learning about a young woman who needs a miracle. 20-year-old Chastity will not live much longer without a kidney transplant. WECT's Ava Brengord met with her and her family, and Ava, this is incredibly rare for someone so young to deal with this kind of disease. It is, John. Only a small percentage of yearly diagnoses are for people her age. Even still, her story is one of heartbreak and hope. Think back to when you were a 20-year-old. All of your hopes and dreams for life was simply staying alive, one of them. That's the daily wish Chastity Ludlum unfortunately has after a devastating diagnosis. They done a biopsy of my kidney, and then they sent me to Wilmington to Eastern Neurology in Wilmington. How did that feel? I was scared. <laughs> Ludlum was diagnosed with stage 5 kidney failure, meaning she's lost 85% of her kidney function. A diagnosis that could be deadly, and at the very least, debilitating. If you think about someone in their 20s who's most likely going to be trying to work, trying to go to school, trying to fulfill those daily activities is going to be very difficult. While she remains strong, her family is heartbroken. I would be lost. Ludlum lives with her grandmother in Garland, North Carolina. She drives into Wilmington to receive medical treatment. And I ask everybody to please pray for us because we sure need it. The family is no stranger to tragedy. Ludlum lost her mother to pancreatic cancer. And now with her diagnosis, Chastity's father says life is harder than ever. It's been rough. It's been pretty rough. Now, the only option, a kidney transplant, one that could take five years. That's why Ludlum is hoping for a miracle. To get another kidney. And are you hopeful that that might happen soon? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And fulfill that dream to live. Ludlum says her and her family are spending as much time together as possible knowing that tomorrow is never promised. If you want to help Ludlum and her family, look for this story on our website. And I must say, Chastity made this necklace, and it's absolutely beautiful, John. And let's hope that uh, by doing the story, someone is able to give that young lady and the family the miracle that they need. Ava, thanks.